and it's been 15 years since I've had a switch and one of the things that you do notice is that habits are sometimes hard to change terminology all those things and we've certainly seen some of that um, we've tried to scrimmage as much as we can we actually had a mock game day uh, the other day and it was unique because they have habits that they're used to on game day I have things that I'm implementing that are different and it, you could see the stress of the even the returners of learning those differences of how we go about our game day preparation and those things so we are really it is a just a step-by-step -step process for our group and and uh, uh, even for me uh, because of the new scoreboard I've only been in Bramlage one time um, and so we've only got to practice in Bramlage one time and we'll have another mock game day coming up. So we're trying to get rid of all those things that we um, don't know as soon as possible and then trying to get this team to take uh, some more steps forward. It's coming quick. I mean, it, it'll be here before we know it. And, um, and we certainly have a lot of work to do. talk about Deborah Meeks and, and Antoinette. Yeah, hey, would you guys mind, I don't know everybody oh. here, would you mind telling me who you are? John's at my speed capital, John. Nice okay, John, yeah, um, thank you. Yeah, can you just talk about your uh, trans, your JUCO transfers, just kind of how you've seen them grow so far and kind of their yeah. progress right now? Well, I think Meeks is a player that uh, can, can go get her own shot. Um, which, you know, we, we lacked some ability to play. I said that early on that I wanted to have a little more ability to go create your own and play off the bounce. I think she's done that pretty well. Um, fitting it into our offense, um, we're still trying to get her to understand where her shots are coming from. But I've been pleased with, uh, I think she, she's got a good work ethic to her. Uh, she seems to grasp uh, what we're trying to do. And, and different than the previous, her habits aren't as strong maybe as the returning player so she comes in this she knew this was going to be new and um, she's come in I think um, I think decent she you know she coming from Trinity Valley she knows how to win and um, she knows how to compete and uh, I think she's picked things up fairly well Com and, yeah, and coach, uh, what is you? You've kind of integrated your staff, you know, and took took people from your previous staff, hired some new ones, kept some people on for, that was here before. Mm -hmm. You know, what's been the the chemistry like be between the staff members? Are you guys on on the same page? What works well for you guys? Yeah, uh, it's been good. You know, I think that uh, you know, for for Claire and uh, JC, who are the two new ones to me, I think there's the difference. There's a summer part of the expectations of the staff and, and learning those things, but then you get on the floor, and I think both have just done a good job of sitting back, and, and I've tried to give them areas that they can be. Uh, uh, I've tried to give them areas that they know exactly what they're working on because what we want for our players is clarity. And it's hard for Claire Coggins in a week and a half of sitting in meetings to really know how practice is going to flow and where she can interject and all those things. So I've tried to give her areas uh, uh, that are very clear to her, and she's done a very good job with that. I think Claire's got a bright future on the floor. She seems to have a good knack for uh, when to pull a player aside, when to do those things. You know, a lot of times the role of an assistant is is just having a feel for when a, a, a player needs a pickup or, 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 or um, you know, a player needs to be pulled aside and just have a quick chat with. It's not so much that the X's and O's, I mean, you want to make sure that they understand those as well so we're all on the same page. But uh, she seems to have a good knack for that. Uh, J.C. Uh, Hoyt Capper, while she's not allowed to coach on the floor, she does have a responsibility off the floor with our players in a variety of areas, and I think they both have, have done a solid job there. What has been the reception that you've gotten on the road, you know, wearing the, the, the K-State pullover now? Yeah, it's been very good. Well, I, you know, I, I said this uh, a couple weeks ago, coming off the road in September. I was very pleased nationally. I mean, the Power Cat is well known nationally, and and uh, 
Um, I would just say that uh, the reception has been great across the state of Kansas. I mean, that's that's been fantastic. Um, yes, yeah, so all those things have been very good, very positive. Michael Goins with uh, GoPowerCat.com. Yeah, Mike. Uh, can you describe a little bit more about the transition you've made and how staying remaining in conference has uh, made a difference for you as far as relating to the players and knowing the scout on some of the players? Yeah, I think um, even knowing the scout of them and knowing what they're capable of, I think one of the things that, um, that I, I – well, I, I think that early part has helped me, but I think that part is done with. Now it's about what you're doing today. And, and uh, you know, it's about your productivity today, okay? Because quite frankly, what you've done in the past um, isn't relative to how you're playing today. And um, that has been a little bit of a message that our returners um, have needed to get quicker. They have not played as well as I believe that they're capable of. But um, they need to pick it up here because the productivity of today is going to be who's going to play here uh, come the exhibition season and going forward. So um, I think the initial evaluation that I had um, maybe helped me fit them into areas that I felt like we could fit them into. But um, – uh, now we're looking at who who's playing well right now and um, who's playing well today. And, and uh, the sense of urgency for our group hasn't been as good as I would have liked. Uh, that has been a little bit concerning. Uh, our group needs to have a greater sense of urgency here. And I think at some point they've kind of um, maybe laid back and been a little timid and they don't want to make a mistake. New coaching staff, new head coach, don't know how it's going to react. I would rather them – just get after it, play their tail off. We'll correct the mistakes on film later. Um, I, I, that has been my concern with the early part of practice. I haven't felt like we've cut loose enough. Have you seen a player or players step in their leadership role that have maybe embraced that? Well, I think um, – I think that's a little bit hard right now because they're all thinking so much and, and they're just trying to really take everything in right now. So I, I have not, no, I have not. We, we have not had somebody step forward and, and take this team and say, no, nope, this, is, this is how we're going to do things. I don't think our confidence level is there to do that yet. I have seen certain players take their area. We have a group that, uh, you know, I think Kindred Wieseman's one that you, you know she's going to be diving on the floor every day. You know she's going to do those things. She's very comfortable to do those things. But Kindred isn't comfortable enough in the offense right now to lead everybody at this stage of practice. Um, can we get there in the next two weeks? Well, that's certainly the goal. You got to keep in mind, Kindred is a, still a young player. I have to keep in mind that Kindred's still a sophomore. And because it's a new staff and new offense, well, while she has the experience of playing in the Big 12 and playing for Kansas State, her experience is still how many days I've been here and how many days our staff has been here. So she's on equal footing with everybody else. So I, I maybe have to make sure that uh, um, we're going to have a lot of meetings here. The guard play right now is a, an area of concern. We either have new guards or we have guards that are having to uh, do more than they did a year ago. Wiesman would fall right into that category of a player that was really a shooter. Now she's being asked to handle the ball more, facilitate the offense more, get some shots for other people. That's a different role for her. Well, Tim, piggybacking on that with the guards, um, Haley Tejada showed a lot of flashes of being a productive offensive player and really a uh, player in general two years ago, but then last year with the injury. Can you kind of talk about where she's at right now and just her development and maybe what you like, what you've seen so far? Well, she's healthy. I like that. Um, uh, she, she has um, struggled to shoot the ball as well in the early part of camp here. Um, some of that, I think, is footwork issues and just comfortable comfortable with the offense and um, we're just in that phase right now of trying to get our players to understand where their shots are coming from um, but I think she's certainly capable and she's another player that I think is being asked to do a little bit more and how quickly we can get her uh, assimilated into that uh, it will be critical for our team because there's no doubt you've got a group that has had some success and while I talk about what you're doing now, um, 
I think it's critical for her as quickly as possible. And I think anybody that returned, whether it be Wieseman, um, Asha Woods, I put into that category, but her not being a guard. But um, we've got to start to get those things pretty quickly. Coach, what do you what do you like about this team, and maybe what are the the overall what what could you see out of this team eventually? Well. Uh, um, Defensively, I think this team has a real chance to be pretty solid across the board. Um, they, they've got good length to them. They've got good size and strength. Um, I think Bree Lewis inside can really uh, cause some people some problems. But um, they've grasped that quicker than the offensive end. Um, and they're still not – they're obviously nobody, – nobody across the country is where any of us want them to be. But I think from the standpoint of knowing where they're supposed to be, understanding that part of it they're certainly further ahead of the defensive end than they are at the offensive end so I like that about them and I think they've got a chance there to be a, a team that can uh, be an improved basketball team from a year ago at that end of the floor um, my concern is scoring points um, I'm not convinced um, that we have uh, we have found the answers there yet and my concern also is that we understand that uh, the possessions that we have are extremely valuable. So our guard play has got to really be able to facilitate the offense, be able to run things, and, and get the ball in the right people's hands. And I'm not sure we even have a remote understanding of what to do um, right now. And nobody, quite frankly, if you can, when you come to practice, I mean, we need some separation. It's hard to see a separation right now. You know, you could pick a different player every day and people will say, well, isn't that good? Mm, not right now. We need to see some separation because it is very difficult to, to, to see the separation that's necessary to even know where to get the ball to to get points. Meeks has separated herself as a player that can go get her own. Her shot selection is still a work in progress. Okay, Lewis has probably separated herself as, okay, 6'5", I'm an improved player in here. I can, I, I've shown that I can score in there um, better than a year ago. But other than that, we're still looking for some separation. White, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. I feel like it's a you. catbacker event, except you would be standing <laughs> over here, right? I know, I know. <laughs> I just would like to have you um, maybe comment on Bree's progress. Uh, I know you saw her just from the other side of the fence last year, but Bree Lewis. Yes. Yes. And okay. What her what her potential could be at six five? Yeah, I thought it was a player that made good progress last year. Uh, when I took the job, I was very impressed with um, her ability to uh, be coachable, but repeat. Uh, the footwork that we were asking her to repeat. Uh, so I was very impressed with those things. Um, I've seen her make big strides here. Um, I think it's a player that we're going to be able to throw the ball into and have something good happen. Um, she's, And we're certainly going to force feed her with that action. Um, I'd like to see her more aggressive rebounding. I'd like to see her more aggressive shot blocking. Um, I'd like to see her get more scrap points down there because she has the size and the athletic ability to, to get in and around. Um, she's just a player that she really has a lot of untapped potential in there, and we're really having to change her mindset. But you see a little bit more every day, and that's what you like about her. I think she's a kid that is learning to pass the basketball, which if you go back a year ago, that was a real struggle for her. But we have worked really hard on just the fundamentals and the skills of doing that, and uh, we see her do more every day. Players have to adjust to the offensive philosophies. Can you define a little bit maybe how you are going to differ and what you want from offense than maybe what fans have seen in the past? Well, they, they really shot a ton of threes last year, and, and um, that was really their identity if you look back. And so it was um, – uh, they didn't get to the free throw line a whole lot. 
I think was either ninth or 10th in the league, shot a lot of threes, was one of the better three-point shooting teams in the league. Um, you know, we're running a triangle offense right now, so you're going to see the ball spread around a lot. Um, threes are going to come from, I mean, we're going to shoot the three, but it's going to come from a select group of players that we believe have that ability to shoot it. We are going to go from the inside out because we do feel like we've got a, not only a, a center that we can have good things happen, but she's a young center that I want to get a lot of touches. You know, part of the development is is that we're not going to shy away from that development. Uh, we're going to go right at her, and, and Bree's going to have to raise her game to – to the, that level. Um, so, I mean, that'll be the differences. I, I think when when um, somebody asked earlier about the advantage of being in the league, well, they shot a ton of threes last year. And um, we probably don't have that same ability to do that this year. But I do think we can get to the free throw line better than a year ago. And I do think that um, our the inside game is developing. And uh, so those are the areas we're going to try to improve. We've got to get to the free throw line more. I mean, you can't look at you can look at those numbers, and those were losing numbers from a year ago. You you can't have your opponent shooting 200 more free throws than you over the course of a season and feel like that's a good number. You got to make a lot of threes to counter those things. All right, guys. Thank you.